Hi, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add software inputs in Elgato Wavelink. Wavelink is our powerful audio mixing software that comes with Elgato Wave microphones. Wavelink allows you to add both hardware and software audio sources into a virtual mixer where you can control the volume independently for what you hear and what your stream hears. And then lets you send the entire audio mix out to your favorite streaming app and your headset or speakers of choice. Now, adding audio inputs in Wavelink is incredibly easy. Now, first off, make sure your Wave microphone is connected to your computer when running Wavelink. Wave microphones actually power the audio engine in Wavelink, so it's necessary to have it connected for the app to work. And when it's connected, it's automatically added as your first audio channel. Now, if you want to add physical audio inputs to other channels in Wavelink, it's very simple. Choose the leftmost unassigned audio channel, click the down arrow here, and you'll see a list broken up into two halves. The bottom half is hardware audio inputs. Here you'll find audio inputs for USB audio devices and your sound card's inputs. Here you could add things such as a headset microphone in case you want to walk around during your stream and switch to a mobile mic. You could add the audio from certain capture cards like HD60S Plus or Camlink 4K. You could even hook up a second USB microphone or an XLR microphone if it's connected to a USB interface like a Focusrite 2i2. So when you select the input you want, that's it. You're done. It's now an audio channel in Wavelink. Now, software audio inputs are just as easy, but they do require one extra step. Again, go to the leftmost unassigned audio channel, and don't forget, if you need to add more, just click this little plus button here. And in the top half, here you'll want to pick what kind of channel you want to add. We have choices like system, game, music, voice chat, or generic names like aux. Now, you want to pick the name that best represents the channel you want to add. I'll explain why in a little bit. For this video, I'm going to choose to add a voice chat channel. So we have the voice chat channel added in Wavelink. Now we want to link this to the app which we want to control. Now I use Discord for my voice chat, so that's what I want to link to this audio channel. Now we can do this one of two ways. I could either open up Discord, open up settings, go to voice and audio, and simply set my output to the voice chat Wavelink output you'll see in your list of choices. Alternatively, a much easier method is just clicking this icon in the Wavelink app, which opens up a Windows menu that will let you change the output device for any app that uses sound you find in Windows 10. Please keep in mind, in order to show up in the app volume and device preferences menu, your app must be open and must have played audio since being opened. So if you just installed Spotify for example, but you haven't played a sound yet, it won't show up here until you've played that song. So in any case, I have Discord linked to my voice chat channel in Wavelink, and to make things even easier, I can rename the channel to Discord to make it that much clearer. Now, instead of Discord outputting directly to my headset, it'll pass through Wavelink first, so not only can I hear my Discord voice chat through my headset, but now my stream can hear it too. Now, this software audio input can be done with basically any app, and you can even choose whichever Wavelink channel you want to. We have common audio categories named for our software audio inputs to make it a little bit easier to link, but I could have just as easily added one of the aux channels in Wavelink and set Discord to that instead. The important part is just making sure you're matching your Wavelink channel with your app's output. If I have Discord outputting to Wavelink voice chat, but I don't have the voice chat channel added to Wavelink, it's not going to work. If I have the voice chat channel added in Wavelink, but I never set any app to output to that channel, then again, it won't work. So hopefully, this video sheds a little light on how you can add your different hardware and software audio sources in Wavelink. Be sure to check out our other tutorials on Elgato Wave and Wavelink on our YouTube channel to become an audio pro. And get subscribed to catch our new videos and tutorials to allow you to unlock the full power from your Elgato products. Once again, I'm Steggy from Elgato. And until our next video, good luck and have fun.